So this time, the scale that we're working with is one centimeter to represent two units on the x-axis and one centimeter to represent two units on the y. Again, to draw a vertical line that represents our y-axis. Your line should be straight. And then we're going to draw a horizontal line to represent our x-axis. And note that these two lines, they intersect each other and the angle that is formed is 90 degrees, all right? So they are perpendicular to each other. So the next thing that we need to do is to label each of them so we don't get confused. So we're going to label our y-axis. All right, then we're going to label our x-axis. And you can label these side as well. So we know that over here will be our negative x-axis. And down here, we're going to have our negative y-axis. All right. So we finish with labeling the axes now. We need to indicate on our diagram where is the origin. So our origin is always going to be where both lines intersect each other. So that is our origin there. Now it says we must use one centimeter to represent two units on the X. So first <clears throat> we need to measure off one centimeter on our x-axis. So as you would know that for every five small boxes that is going to be one centimeter. So if you measure from the origin here horizontally this would be one centimeter. From this stroke to here would be another one centimeter. From this stroke to here would be another one centimeter. Another one centimeter and so forth. And we'll do the same thing here. So this is one centimeter, one centimeter, one centimeter, one centimeter, one centimeter, one centimeter, one centimeter. So it's the same thing there. So the only thing that we need to do now to the x-axis is to put on the units. So they are saying for every one centimeter, we are counting by two. That's all that they are saying. So from, from the origin to this first stroke, that's one centimeter, so that's going to be two. From this stroke to this, that's another one centimeter. So we're going up by two, so this is going to be four. Then six, eight, 10, 12, 14, and so on. And here it's going to be negative two, two, negative four, negative six, negative eight, negative 10, negative 12, all right? So we're finished with the x-axis. Now going to the y-axis now, it's the same scale, one centimeter to represent two units. So we need to indicate where one centimeter are. So from the origin, five of the small boxes is equivalent to one centimeter. So we count off, that's it. From here, another five. So it will take us to this point, take us to that point and that point there. If you measure from the origin going down, five box going down would be one centimeter. So take us to there. That's another one. 
It's another one centimeter, another one centimeter, another one centimeter, another one centimeter. And note that all the distance are equal distance apart between the strokes. So all you need to do now is to put on the unit. So we're just counting by two. So it's going to be two, four, six, eight. And here it's going to be negative two, negative four, negative six, negative eight, negative 10, negative 12, and that's it. So that is how you would represent the scale of one centimeter to two units on both axes, all right? Thank you very much for watching, and I hope that this video would have helped you to understand how to draw your cartridge and cartridge system with specific scale to enjoy the rest of your day.